Hi angels, welcome back to my channel. This is insane, if you like the setup, drop a comment. If you have many questions on what's going on, drop a comment. I am so, so, so excited to start filming. Today's video is cute, quick, curly hairstyles. Let's get into it, let's go. Okay, angels, I'll be doing a voiceover for the mini tutorials. And what you want to do for this messy ponytail, you're going to grab hairs from the front piece of your head. And the ones that are like more defined are going to look best. And I basically just take the most defined ones and then leave that. And I just plop. Like I just do a pineapple. I can't find the hair tie. Put a pineapple. And it's literally the simplest thing. It changes it from just a normal pineapple to this cute, messy pineapple. Then what I do to like clean it up is I'll separate curls or like wet it, add oil. This is the oil from Living Proof. So good. Just add it to like add a little bit of shine to the hair. Then I'll leave my edges with the Next of Us avocado gel, which I love. And then I'll just do a swoop. I love doing a swoop in the middle going one direction. I think it looks a lot cleaner. Then just swoop on all the sides and I think it just cleans it up. And now it looks like actual hairstyle instead of me just throwing it up. So yeah. Okay, guys, so this is like one of my favorite hairstyles. It's so easy. If my hair day turns out bad, I'll literally do this hairstyle. So you just want to part your hair in the middle and make sure it's like symmetrical all around. Because I know if you have my type of hair with bangs, it's gonna not be, uh, it's gonna uh, be unsymmetrical. But just shape it up. Then I'm gonna grab like two pieces from the front of my hair. They don't have to be long because when they braid it, it kind of stretches it out. And to make it easier, I just tie my hair back so I can really get those braids so I'm not like braiding in any extra hair, just grabbing a clip. This is just a spray bottle filled with Aussie conditioner. Then I get my Deadman just to get that right. And then I braid. Look at those curls bounce back though. And braid all the way down. And yeah. And then I'll do that to the other side as well. As you can see, I'm like in love with this hairstyle, but then again, edges really, in my opinion, clean up a hairstyle. So I'll just go back and relay any edges that I think need to be relayed. Super cute. I love this hairstyle. And then to add extras, I'll just add like little glowed gold clips on the bottom. And it's literally the cutest thing. So yeah. And we can arrive the book and share that feel of love. I wanna Okay, so for the bubble antennas, it's the same concept as the last one. You're going to do the same technique, get two front pieces. But I think in this one, you're going to need a bit more hair in the front. You're going to be needing like rainbow loom rubber bands or just like regular tiny elastic rubber bands. And basically just start spacing those out down your hair. It's a pretty easy concept once you get the hang of it. But it's the best. So just keep on going down and you're going to do that to both sides. And I'll clip that just so I'm not like getting any other hair in there. And depending on how long your hair is, you just keep on going down until you have the right length. 
Okay guys, so I hope you guys like the names of these hairstyles. So this is Space Jam. What you basically want to do is grab like a part of your hair. Imagine you're doing a half a path down but only on one side. And you're just going to want to tie it up like two pigtails but leaving hair on the bottom. I don't know if this is making sense but if you can just kind of see what I'm doing. Then you're going to do a fan bun. So while, like I just pull the hair and then I stop just like that. And on the other side, I'll go grab that, tie it up, and it's super simple. I think this hairstyle is so fun, and especially if you're just wanting to like transition through hairstyles, leaving the bubbles I think adds a lot of fun to it. And yeah. So the name of this hairstyle is self-explanatory, self the slick headband, you gotta love it. But a lot of people get confused on this hairstyle on how I keep it. So I'll show you how to do that, but you're gonna kinda wanna part diagonally down your hair and separate it from the front and the back. So just like that. I'll just use my fingers to part because I find it a lot easier. Then again, tying your hair back will just make it easier for you guys. So definitely do that and then I'll go in and just wet I think I grab yeah I grab way too much hair y'all if you want cleaner lines definitely use a comb but I don't think you'll be able to see it once the hair covers it but yeah wet it this is my paddle brush with bristles inside of it which is from Tarjay I slick that bad boy down get the next of us avocado gel and then my living oil proof with my bristle brush which is also from Target and I slick that down and if I want to clean up any hairs I'll just grab like my little tool for that and yeah I'll just okay so this is the important part you're gonna grab an elastic and you're gonna want to tie the back of your hair like a little ponytail so I try to turn it around for the best angle but just imagine a mini ponytail tying it down just like that, tighten it, and you're just gonna wanna release the hair in the back. And it's so simple, y'all. And watch the masterpiece unveil. Yes. This hairstyle screams that girl, it's literally just a transition from the last one, you just want to tie it up. It mocks that banana clip hairstyle and I think it's so sleek and chic and I love it. So, yes, yeah, so cute. Okay, 
Okay, so for the Bratz Puff, I love this hairstyle. And again, I'm doing the side parts because I think side parts look a little bit better on me. If uh, middle parts look better on you, definitely feel free to play around with these hairstyles. It's literally simple pigtails, but I think leaving the curls out in like the front and making sure you're tying your thing tight enough, Heaven, will really play a role in how cute these hairstyles look. Because I've seen girls do it and they will look so cute. I think this, the slicker you lay it down, the better. So definitely if you want to add more love when brushing it, I think it will help out. And then just tying it down and then just getting it on the other side is super quick and so easy. Oh my god, wait. I lost my hair tie. Okay, now that past heaven is all situated with the hair tie, I'll just go in and tie the other side. And if you're like scrunching it out, I find it so, so, so cute the way it looks. And I'll just grab the curls. Curls are everything in the front, y'all. So if you have big ears like me, I do that to cover it. So, curl her up. And slay. Okay, y'all, this is literally my favorite, favorite hairstyle if my hair is not big. Literally, the name says it all. Lori Harvey, if she had curls, because Lori Harvey does this ponytail with no part in it, and I find it so, so cute. Um, definitely, if you have a big forehead like me, it still works, I promise. So you're going to sleek that down. Again, I use this as a herbal essence gel. This is from Target as well. It's like the mango aloe gel, I believe, available at Target. And I'll just tie it up, and it's literally the best hairstyle. I think also on my hair shape, it's just really, really amazing. And then, again, because my hair is pulled back, I don't want my ears looking big. So I leave those curls out. Edges laid always, because Lori Harvey, she has her edges always laid, just like that and wet it up and i brush it so because they look a little bit frizzy i could have left them but they look too frizzy but i definitely say do this technique by curling it first together let it dry a little bit and then separating them okay go this curl so then they can like all have somewhat the same shape but yeah this hairstyle is my go-to definite fave Okay, so I know I say every hairstyle is my favorite, but this is definitely the hairstyle that I feel the most confident in when I'm not wearing my hair big because I find this hairstyle so sleek and then for my girls who want to achieve a sleek look and have like bigger hair i don't i know on pinterest when i see girls like have their hair they all have their hair like this and i think this is the one hairstyle that works both for curly hair and straight hair and just looks so good on both so i kind of did like a little fan bun and i'll spin it around to see how it looks um i like when curls hang out because i feel like i still like to show i have curls and all Get the front together with edges and you guessed it curls but this one I do smaller curls I don't grab as big of curls and just make sure to lay it down as best as possible y'all literally this has me feeling like the baddest this is the hairstyle everyone says I look like Sky Jackson in comment down below if you think I look like Sky Jackson <laughs> but yeah gonna get these edges laid and look at me, I'm like, why am I laying my edges so slow? Get into it, girl. Get into it. Then I, yeah, there we go. I just grabbed little, little curls, if you can see that. And I'll like 
twist them and look at them come alive. So love. As you can see by the smile on my face is half up, half down with the middle part gives me life. It is so like fun and summery and cute and I find it like super easy to do. So I just like grab hair on top, brush down because no bumps. That's a no-no. Grab, why can't I find my hair tied? Girl, she's right there. <laughs> and I'll tie it up as tight as I can and then I'll have to play around with it a little bit as you guys can see because it will like get a little bit discombobulated I prefer doing this hair hairstyle soaking wet like once your hair soaking wet because dry it's a little bit harder to <laughs> um like manage like that like those little ugh I hate that but definitely doing it wet is better I just didn't have like a sink to dump my head in so I'll play around with it a little bit to get it even on both sides. But once you do that, this hairstyle is everything. So get into it. There we go. And also don't think you have to like take out your whole ponytail. I'll just grab a brush and like brush right on top of it and I'll pull hair back. That's how you get rid of bumps, like pulling the hair back. But super cute. Okay, for the last hairstyle, I chose the funnest one. I feel so cute in this hairstyle. And what I do is kind of grab hair, twist it backwards, and then tie it on the twist. I don't know, I feel like this hairstyle is just so fun and cute and definitely Y2K vibes, like for sure. Adding, <laughs> what face was that? Adding the ponytails also makes my hair look a lot bigger on the sides, which I like. And if I definitely recommend doing this hairstyle on like a day two, day three once your curls are like over with, like done for because it will really like shape it up all nice. And it's just like that. I just get elastics and tie it. And she's a cutie. Love y'all. Okay, angels, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're enjoying. This chair was like squeaking the whole time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like the new setup. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. And if you guys want more curly hairstyle videos, like maybe more exotic ones with like parts and just braids, like this is just a quick, easy hairstyle and transitioning. Like, I don't know how many I did, but I think I did a couple. Drop down your favorite curly hairstyle. Drop down any other suggestions. The product I use will be linked in the description. I love each and every one of you. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Okay, love you, bye.